crafty friends and at Kessler here with Saturday extravaganza and today I'm going to share with you the basics of jelly printing this is a really really fun uh, way of creating backgrounds and this is the jelly plate it's very soft and this is an eight and a half by eleven inches size that I put on some uh, white paper and craft sheets so what you're gonna need are, is a brayer and some white cardstock or heavy watercolor paper and of course acrylic paints because jelly printing is usually done with acrylic paints it can also be done with any water based paint or even oil based but that's too messy to clean so I prefer using acrylic paints so let's get started I'm when we apply the paint to the jelly plate we just need to apply very little paint we don't need a lot so I'm starting with some a green and yellow and I'm spreading the paint with my brayer it takes a while for the paint to spread evenly so just keep on braying until you have paint all over your jelly plate and I've used two colors so you can see the blending of the two colors you can of course use just one and then you take your paper press it gently on the jelly plate and what happens is that the paint is sticks to the paper and you get your beautiful background and if you use only a little paint then you can see that the jelly plate is nearly almost clean um, you see there is no paint almost none and then you get your perfect print um, let's continue with those two colors you don't need to clean your brayer in between at least I don't and I only spread it around a couple of times with my brayer just to keep those big spots of paint without spreading them completely and then you're going to see the beautiful effect that we can get from using this technique of spreading the colors namely not spreading it all all uh, completely so you get those big blobs of paint on your background which is really pretty because we put a lot of a uh, uh, very little paint then the pages dry really really quickly I don't even have to use any heat tool of any kind to make them dry they just dry so fast because the paint is so little so that's another advantage for not using too much paint so let's use a stencil I've applied paint to my jelly plate and then put a stencil on it and then I'm taking my paper pressing gently and now you can see the really cool effect that you get because you will see the pattern of the stencil on your page isn't that cool now keep the page on your jelly plate and apply some more paint while the stencil is still there I'm just a loading some paint on my brayer now applying it on my jelly plate while the stencil is still there remember we had a more greenish layer of paint and then we added a little bit of yellow on top now I've removed the stencil and let's see what we get it's really fun to discover every time you lift the paper it's fun to discover what you how it looks look at that really really pretty there is sort of a surprise effect when you jelly printing because you can control what you have on your jelly plate but uh, you never control it 100 uh, percent so there's always a surprise of what you're gonna get so that's I like that that's fun let's add some more yellow when you work with a jelly plate you start with the lighter colors and then work your way to the darker colors so this way you can layer your prints and build on them so now I'm going to use some uh, found item that I have at home this was a package of a shower curtain 
and I'm going to use it to create a pattern on my jelly plate. You can use any found object, just don't use sharp or pointy objects because that might damage your jelly plate. It's very soft. You can tear it or poke a hole in it and you don't want that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just by using a shower curtain package. Okay, so the next step adding some aqua and some green. Now I'm going to apply those two colors without blending them. At least not the way I did at the beginning. I'm just cleaning my brayer a little bit just on a piece of paper. Don't need to go and wash it or anything like that. So I'm starting with spreading my yellow color on the jelly plate until I'm happy with the surface that it covers. I'm not touching the aqua yet and only then after I'm happy with the yellow I'm touching the aqua. So you have an aqua area and a yellow greenish area. So that's going to create a different background than the one that we did in the beginning. Now take any object like a brush and use the back side of the brush to draw shapes on your jelly plate. What happens is when you draw the shapes you remove the paint and that creates a pattern and then you can print your paper and you'll have this beautiful beautiful pattern which we're going to see in just a second. You can draw any shape that you want just remember that if you're using letters or numbers you need to write them in reverse so they will show in the right direction when you print it on the paper. So you need to write them in a mirror writing which is kind of confusing but possible or use a stencil that's another idea. So let's see the pattern that we created with the brush. Look at that. Amazing. Really really pretty. Now you see there's a little bit of pattern and paint on the jelly plate this is called ghost printing because we are printing what is left on the jelly plate. It's go not going to be as vivid and as bright as the first one but we still get a really cool print. Now let's move ahead and create another really cool printing but before that I want to clean my jelly plate. I do that with a baby wipe because I want to introduce a new color and I don't want it to blend with the yellow and aqua and green that we used before. So I am going to add now a little bit of orange I think. This is, look at this, it's already dry. Just want to go over what we did before we start with the orange. Look at all those beautiful beautiful printing backgrounds that we did. Isn't that amazing? This is something that once you start you just it's really hard to stop because it's so much fun you guys. I'm serious. I this is my new passion. I love this. So let's go ahead with our orange. Just add a little bit. I have a dry bit here which I don't need. So I'm just going to leave that little bit of paint I'm just going to bray it a few times and not let it spread and I get this pattern that I like that I'm going to print on my page. Now this is what we call layering because we have the background and then we're going to start layering stuff on the background that we created. We're going to print and print layer after layer and build a really cool background. So I've added a little bit more paint and I'm just spreading it on the right side of my jelly plate because I don't need to use the whole surface of the plate. This is a stencil and what I'm going to do is a, take off the color, the paint, with just a scrap piece of paper. So only the covered parts of the stencil have paint and all the others do not and now I can print and show you 
the effect that you get which is really really cool basically you get the stencil isn't that cool pretty let's add some more orange spread it around all over the surface you don't need to press hard with your brayer just roll it over and the paint will spread and then I have a brush with two points that I'm going to use to just draw curved lines on the jelly plate and then let's see what happens I'm going to take one of my backgrounds and not even use the whole surface just a corner you can see very faint pattern and then we can ghost print because we still have a little pattern there, a little paint on the bottom. Let's see if we can see something. Because it's going to be very light. See? Look at that. That is so pretty. And then you can decide where to position your page and how much paint to pick up. And see what you get. So I'm respreading the paint that I have. I'm not adding more so it's a very very thin layer I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to another background and see how faint that is really really pretty you just build the colors and the layers and the shapes and you get beautiful effects so I'm cleaning that because I want to introduce another color so this is a stencil that I'm putting on the jelly plate while it's clean I'm loading the paint on my brayer and then I'm going to apply the paint on the jelly plate through the stencil this will of course create the pattern it's like working with ink you know but this is acrylic paint so let's see what we get look how pretty that is isn't that fun I'm enjoying myself and I hope that you are too so let's see what we have created so far these are so so beautiful and of course you can keep on adding more and more layers and patterns and colors to your prints we still have this one let's see if we have enough paint to add something to it forgot this one just a little bit of paint I don't know it's not gonna be enough but we're gonna have some little spots there look at that we'll just add on it these are all the, what we created and I have a full jelly printing series on the VIP room creative club that you can join in at any time you have a link under the video and I just want to show you what we created in the VIP these are the same pages that you saw this is how they turned out this is the first uh, series and we're going to have three part series of this jelly printing with so many techniques and ideas and then we're gonna bind it to a really beautiful art journal so join us in the VIP room and I hope to see you there. Thanks for joining me. Bye.